you just put the the trim remover here you play with it and then uh, if you pull it a little hard the, it's gonna come off and then you you work your way you know just very easily and smoothly to the end when you get to this uh, wire just press and hold the pin and then pull it up all right so this piece is removed I'm gonna put it back uh, and then you go for the second piece the second piece of trim just do the same thing put it up here just start pulling and then uh, and then work your way all the way to the left you know uh, because I already did it it was harder first time you have to play with it a little bit uh, especially uh, from that side uh, I had to play with it a little bit uh, but yeah I mean w uh, what is holding these things in place are these pins so once you get, once you pull and you know you get all these pins out it's gonna come off and again you press and hold uh, this pin and then uh, this trim piece is gonna come off so I'm gonna put this back and uh, and then just very easily get a uh, you know just a piece of this Lysol uh, you can the glove all right and, uh, and then you get a piece of this uh, Lysol pad and I start rubbing you know I start rubbing all the way and that's what I did for like five minutes um, you know just rubbing all the way and and then uh, after you do that you just uh, get a piece of uh, microfiber cloth dry it and, and look at it so you have to play with it you know it's not gonna like go like in one minute you have to like go back and forth you know you can go in the circular motion you can go back and forth like this and uh, you know if you try like two three minutes um, you'll see it's gonna go you know it's gonna remove that anti-glare coating and then and then you dry you can look at it in the sunlight so i actually park my car in a position that i can see um you know i can see the screen very clearly and um and basically that's how i removed it so i thought this uh, this may help a lot of mazda owners you know to uh take care of this system instead of paying whatever thousand dollar to the dealer to replace the whole thing you know you don't really have to do that